there, YouTube. It's a Ghost Rider on a Saturday night. Steamy Saturday night. It is 79 degrees. And we're on my therapy trail headed back north. US 1, Martin County. I just wanted to drop in here and see who pays attention to the emails that you get from the YouTube Creator Studio. In particular, the recent uh, email we got. Did anybody bother to open it? And if you opened it, it was a survey to get your feedback on what motivates you to create content for YouTube. And also, do you create content for any other platforms? Well, for me, the only platform I, I create individually for YouTube, but sometimes I also share it to Facebook and to Instagram. I do create content specifically for Instagram, but then I end up sharing that to, to YouTube and more recently to uh, YouTube Reel. Uh, I don't think they call it real. YouTube Shorts, that's what they call it. But it made, got me to thinking, okay, I have got a non-monetized channel about 340 subscribers and I'm grateful for each and every one of you. So one of the things they asked, you know, is it the, the earnings that I, you can make on YouTube? Does that motivate, motivate you to create content? For me, no it doesn't because I've been on for a little while but I have not specifically gone ahead and really push to in increase my viewership or subscribers. Uh, it's just a fun thing that I do when I feel like doing it. But as I said, this uh, email came to me and uh, I did fill out the survey. And instead of uh, monetary motivation, my motivation is passion, passion for my ride. And, uh, you know, I do share it on YouTube, and I do get some interaction on what I post. And I thank you all for commenting, liking, or just plain viewing. But if you remember from long ago, those who are with me from the beginning, this was primarily a family motivation to share my passion with my family that lives elsewhere around the country and around the world. Then I noticed I was getting views and interaction from my viewers and then my subscriber count went up. But I've been stuck at 340 for a while now. But I still, once in a while, make content. And some might remember me saying that I create content for me. <laughs> yeah, I like to look at myself. <laughs> no, just kidding. But you know, between my family and me, because I do go back and review my content every once in a while, just to remind me where I've been and to give myself pointers of what I can do to increase my, to improve my editing, uh, the exposure that I use, or the type of camera that I use, you know, that kind of stuff. Now, I don't have that big disposable, disposable income as some of these other content creators so you know it's some turn it into a full-time job it's not that it's not even a part-time job for me it's full-time pleasure full-time passion and i just wondered as i was filling out this survey i said well there are a few people that i liked used to like to watch you know there were small content creators like myself maybe a little more uh, Christopher Smith out there in Kentucky I haven't seen any content from him in a while uh, Cajun Goldwing rider down there in Louisiana Kim Wiltz and Fireman Wes up there in uh, 
Maryland, I think he is. And also Ray Maples up in Buffalo, New York. Now I think, and I don't remember, but I think, I know for sure that uh, Cajun Goldwing Rider, he's definitely above the subscriber count in order to be monetized. And I'm thinking Ray Maples as well. But I wonder what makes people, especially like myself, who don't earn anything from YouTube, what motivates you to keep creating content? Or what made you decide that you don't want to create content anymore? Now, I don't know what's going on with each of these people I, I named, but you know, I did love inter watching and interacting with the content they created. And uh, so I don't know if there, anything serious is going on in their lives that caused them. But outside of anything traumatizing, what would cause someone to stop creating content and posting, you know, to the different platforms? And when you, with the YouTube shorts, did that motivate you to create content? For me, it did, because creating the shorts was real easy. Matter of fact, when I create for Instagram, I can use that in the in the shorts for YouTube. I just have to cut it by 30, 30 seconds, because I make a minute and a half, uh, mostly. I do make some shorter reels on Instagram, but I do the one minute shorts on YouTube. I don't, occasionally, I share some of my reels to Facebook, but I don't uh, do that very often, and I don't primarily create content for Facebook. So, but I'm going to go on creating content, you know, whenever I feel like it. I know it's, the frequency is not as good, which is probably why my subscriber count hasn't gone up because I just kind of create content when I feel like it. I do have some content that I filmed up there in uh, Daytona Bike Week, which tomorrow is the last day and I don't think I'll be going back up there. The next time I'll be in Daytona, maybe, might be, I'm not, don't, don't quote me on it, but I might go back for Oktoberfest later on in the year. But I do have something in the works that requires me to go to Kentucky. And that's all I'm going to say about that. But if you're creating content and your channel is not monetized, what motivates you to continue creating content if you do create, continue to create content? And if you're not creating content anymore, does anything about the platform make you want to stop creating content? You know, anything outside of uh, personal uh, emergencies, uh, you know, what would stop you from creating content? I mean, there, I do have my, I have had my times and I, I just don't want to do anything with social media. And I stop creating, I stop interacting, you know, to step away from it for a while. But I do come back and, like I'm doing now, create content. So, be interesting to hear back from some of you. First of all, did you get the email? Which I'm sure you did, because all creators got it. And did you open the email? And did you fill out the survey? So that's going to be it for me right now. Drop, drop your comments down there in the comment section. And it'll be me, Ghost Rider and Red Scorpion. Out for a Saturday night ride in the humidity. You be safe. You be careful. It's Ghost Rider, Red Scorpion. And we're 10-7. We'll talk at you later. We may give you a little jump off here if this light cooperates. So we're just gonna do a plain old jump off.
running a little low on battery. And there she is. Ooh, hope you're not being blinded. <laughs> yeah. 2010 GL1800 Honda Goldwing. Audio comfort. And we see you next time. We're 10-7.